everyone. Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is describing the shape, the form, the strength, and of course the variation of a scatter plot. Let us recall first what a scatter plot is. Scatter plot gives a good visual picture of how two variables are related. Two variables are related, meaning we are talking about bivariate data here, or associated with one another in terms of form, trend, variation of correlation. The form of points in the scatter plot determines the shape. Take note. The form of points in the scatter plot determines the shape of the correlation of the variables. The trend determines the direction. Again, trend determines the direction of the points. Either the variables have positive, negative, or no correlation. The variation or strength of correlation is based on the closeness of the points on the trend line. And it determines whether the variables have no, weak, moderate, strong, or perfect correlation. Types of correlation according to direction. A positive correlation exists when high values of one variable correspond to high values of another variable, or low values of one variable correspond to low values of another variable. So if you will analyze it, just like in, of course, graphing a linear equation, if the slope of a linear equation is positive, it goes this way. So same with positive correlation. It says here, when high values of one variable correspond to high values. So we have here. Okay, and then low values for low. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. So this one is a positive correlation. What about the second? A negative correlation exists when high values of one variable correspond to low values of another variable or low values of one variable correspond to high values of the variable. So if you will analyze it, this one is the same as, of course, the graph of a linear equation whose slope is negative. It looks like this. So the points can be this way, can be scattered this way. Okay, so this one is a negative, of course, correlation. What about the third? A negligible correlation or zero correlation exists when high values of one variable correspond to either high or low values of another variable. So if you will analyze it, it's the same as, of course, the zero slope, which is graphed this way. The slope of the linear equation whose slope is, of course, zero, it is graphed this way. So it is also described as this one, zero correlation. So if you will draw the dots like this. Okay. So this one is a zero correlation or negligible Correlation. Types of correlation according to strength is strong positive correlation. This correlation exists when almost all of the points are on the line or the points are closely scattered on the trend line that moderately scattered rising from right to left. So this is how you will illustrate it. Okay, so this one is, of course, a strong positive correlation because, of course, they are of the same direction. Next, what about strong negative correlation? This correlation exists when almost all of the points are on the line 
or the points are closely scattered on the trend line that rises from right to left. So this is how you will illustrate it. This one is, of course, a strong negative correlation. Okay, so I have to make it straight. Okay, so this one is a strong negative correlation. Next, weak positive correlation. Compared to strong positive correlation, the points in this correlation are scattered a bit far from the trend line from left to right. So if you will analyze it, it's like this. Okay. So still there is a direction, but of course... The points are scattered a bit far from the trend line. Okay, like this. This one is, of course, a weak positive correlation. The next one, no correlation or negligible correlation. The points in this correlation do not follow any trend line. The points are just scattered around the Cartesian plane. Okay, like this. You may use any marks if you want to mark it as that. It's okay. If you want to mark it as X, it's okay. Okay. So this one is no correlation or negligible correlation. Weak negative correlation. The points in this correlation are scattered a bit far from the trend line from right to left. So, like this, a bit far from each other, but still, it is in it's a negative correlation. So, like this. This one is a weak negative. Let us now identify what type of correlation is it. This one is a strong positive correlation. This one, I can easily identify it as no correlation. Or that is negligible correlation. This one is a strong negative correlation this one is weak negative correlation this one is weak positive correlation and this one is i can say that this is moderately weak correlation.